Hey guys, so this is an illustration I did for Mermaid, which was last month, but yeah, I wasn't gonna participate and then like right at the end I was like, oh, I wanna draw an angel mermaid. So, this is her. Uh, this is kind of just the colouring process though. This is how I typically colour, I just, you know, this is my normal colouring process. Um, you see a lot of changes in it because... I'm not that good with colours yet and I change them a lot, like a lot. Um, I'm still learning what goes best together and how colours flow and what not. So when designing her, Keeping in mind she's supposed to be a mermaid and an angel. Um, I wanted her to have scales, but to look like feathers. So that's what the wings are supposed to be. They're supposed to be just like giant scales, essentially. And I wanted them to shine and um, kind of when it came to coloring, I wanted them to be kind of iridescent and different colors. So I wanted the base to be more whitish and then the scales to have different like hues of purple and teal, a bit of blue, a bit of pink. But when I started trying that out, it didn't really work for me. So, um, well, I kept changing the colors and I found that the pink worked the best. So that's what I kept. But I feel like if I was to do it again and to put more detail into it, I would have done something that I did later on here with the scales on the body but you'll see that in a second so here are like the shiny glitter shards I put on her body um, they're kind of supposed to look like scales but kind of like you see how people have skin freckles well like all over their body it's kind of supposed to be like that but not really um, it was a bit tricky to get them right and I was like oh how do I make these shine right but then I got it all you have to do is a big blocky line of white and it works so that worked out for me really well actually and I, that that's probably my favourite part of this, aside from the face, is the shiny bits on her body. I love this. So of course here I change her hair colour. Uh, I really the the vision actually initially when I sketched this out, I went for blonde hair like this, platinum hair. And then for some reason when I started colouring it, the vision was bright pink. But what I initially wanted went with it better. So I changed it and then I started working with background. Now, I am not good at backgrounds. I never draw backgrounds. So I was just, this was a lot of trial and error. Um, I wanted it to kind of look semi underwater, but semi, um, semi like sky. So it's supposed to kind of look like either, um, what you call it? So either clouds or coral, and you're not supposed to be to be able to kind of tell. But I can't draw a background, so it probably just looks like clouds. And then I changed the colours like a lot. Even after this, I ended up changing them. Um, but it kind of worked out. It worked out. Looking back, I wish I made all the colours brighter though. But I still am kind of happy with how it I then added in these little rays. So like when you're underwater, sometimes you see those rays coming down through the sky. Through what? Through the sea. But then you see the same thing in the heavens and stuff. So I was just trying. But I th I really like how it came out actually. And I think without it, the background would have just looked so plain. But I am working on my backgrounds. We will get better. We are getting better.
so welcome to the finished product uh so this is the blue version i made and i really like it maybe better and then i changed the background of the pink one so it's warmer so i've got a cool toned one and a warm one and i think these are gorgeous very good so thanks for watching the process the coloring process and goodbye